we are in a really exciting period of time. We are moving as a collective and individually from a state of seeing ourselves as victims to being and seeing ourselves as creators, as allowing the energy of life to move through us and for us in our lives and for the lives of everyone around us, for the whole world to evolve. Hi, my name is Dr. Heather Schwartz. I'm an intuitive coach and energy healer. And in today's video, I wanna share with you a wonderfully powerful yet simple process to shift energy about a particular issue or person that you might have an issue with. It's called Ho'oponopono, and it is an ancient Hawaiian prayer to make things right in yourself, for yourself, in your community, in your life. It's really about creating right relationship with yourself and everyone. We've all maybe heard of that wonderful quote it's not a quote, a phrase that goes that, you know, you can be mad at somebody else, but you're the one drinking the poison and you're hoping that they're going to die, but you're the one that actually ends up dying, you know, and forgiveness is one of those tricky topics. I recognize that. So in bringing up this topic, I want to share with you a kind of unique way of seeing it. A while back, I was introduced to a beautiful book by Marsha Nelson on becoming your true self. And in it, she has a process where you imagine the person you're mad at, and as you're, you're looking or imagining them, you keep imagining breathing love into you as you're viewing them. And this process helped me transform the views that I have about forgiveness. Previously, I was a pretty mad person, and I had a lot of anger about my background, and I felt very justified in that anger. And a lot of times challenging situations would happen in my life. And then I had an opportunity to express that anger. But over time, I realized that um, how I was relating to other people was an expression of what I was not sharing with myself, which is that I needed to let my past go. And I needed to be able to see from other people's perspectives, but specifically my family, whom I was not seeing from their perspective, I was just mad at them. And this dynamic caused a lot of problems. I mean, I went to therapy for years and I was a psychologist. I encouraged people to express their feelings a lot, which was kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. I, people would have lots of feelings and then they would get really hung up on those feelings. And it was kind of like what they found in the seventies, which was that the more you punch a pillow, the angrier you get. Um, rather than releasing and having that sense of, of closure. And it was only when I began to examine and switch, examine what was happening inside of me and switch this dynamic of looking for a reason to be mad, trying to feel better and justified about why I felt mad. And I began to work with processes like Ho'oponopono, which is this ancient Hawaiian forgiveness prayer. And the purpose of the prayer is to acknowledge that we are all whole, that we are all responsible for ourselves as part of the collective, that we have a huge influence on our world, and we have a humongous influence on ourselves when we work with our own energy. And that was part of the switch for me from psychology to more spiritual, energetic, and intuitive work was this understanding that I could work with my energy and shift my life. And it just it changed my life, which is why I do this work, quite honestly. But there are many ways to shift your energy and Ho'oponopono is one of them. One of the ways that I like to look at it is that you are shifting the energy between say you and another person. So there's this energy between you, which might include your thoughts of this will never change, this person is always like this, I can't expect anything better. Those were some of the thoughts that I have had over my life that have added to this tension and conflict between me and other people where there's been a, a dynamic that I haven't enjoyed and that created all that anger previously. So the process of Ho'oponopono is very simple, but it's very potent. There's four phrases, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. 
one of the things I've heard people say is that why should I say I'm sorry when the other person hurt me? Well, you're saying I'm sorry to yourself. You're saying I'm sorry to the energy. You're acknowledging your part in creating some part of this dynamic, even and especially if this dynamic is here to heal you, which I believe it is. So that's a really, it's a very empowering thing to say, I'm sorry, because you were saying I'm powerful. I created part of this and I acknowledge it. Or you can think of the I'm sorry as I'm sorry to the energy. I'm sorry to the part of myself that has been hurt by this. I'm sorry in the sense of I acknowledge that I have a part in this collective experience of healing. Try it out. See how it feels to you. And let me know in the comments below how it goes for you. But we're going to be going through this process. I will say the statements. You can say them with me or after me and really get into the energy. You're speaking to the energy of the dynamic. You're acknowledging your power as a creator. It's a very empowering process. And we're just going to see what shifts. I also want to say, I always like to call in my guides and angels every time I do a process like this. You don't have to believe in guides and angels to do this process. You can do it without that. You can call in your higher self, your super conscious, your collective unconscious connection, however you want to phrase it. You don't have to be a believer in that which is unseen but felt in the way that I am. So let's get started. And so choose a topic, a situation between you and another person or within yourself. Of course, it's all within ourselves and it's all within the collective, but something that's been irking you, bugging you, you felt disappointed about, maybe you felt mad about, and just take a moment and notice that. If I were doing psychology, I'd say, go ahead and rate it on a scale from one to 10. And you can do that if you want to, but you don't have to. I don't typically do that. I just notice it. And you're just going to notice the issue and acknowledge it, nod it, nod to it, and then set it aside. Now set an intention for yourself for this process. Maybe it's just being open. Maybe it's that you want to be freer. Maybe it's that you want to experience more love in your life. Maybe you want to be able to feel more joy. Whatever it is, whatever it is, it's perfect for this moment. Go ahead and make a point of dropping from your head to your heart as we begin these phrases. And I'll say them, say them with me, and let's get started. So thinking of this particular situation, taking total responsibility for your own well being. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. And go ahead and take a deep breath. Notice what has shifted already and allow that to come into the focus. So maybe your issue has already shifted into something else and just acknowledge that, nod to it. Taking to total responsibility for your full well being, knowing that as, shift, as you shift your energy, you shift your life. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Now take a deep breath. Noticing what has shifted, what has come into focus. Maybe it's something new, similar to the layers of the onion. There may be something lower than this original issue that you have 
noticed. And that's really powerful to notice. For the sake of this video, I won't continue to do a third round, but you may choose to. You can start the video over again if you'd like. And I wanna thank you for having the courage to face this issue. I wanna thank you for contributing to your well being because your well being contributes to our collective humanity and to the world as a whole. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe so that you can receive more videos like it. If you'd like to share in the comments below, I would love to hear from you. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye for now.